this is Gary at Infonet.com and I am going to show you how to use Photoshop to prepare your pictures for uh, eBay auctions or whatever. Um, we're looking at Photoshop right now and the first thing I'd like to do is um, I know a lot of people when they first open up their Photoshop they may not know how to get the screen to default because she may look over here on the right and you don't have one of these boxes or this thing's not over here. So all you do is you go up to Window, Workspace, and you want Default Workspace, and everything will go right back to the original way that it was when you first started it. Now, um, what I'm going to show you today real quickly is uh, a feature that you need in your version of Photoshop, and most of them have it unless you go back pretty far. Um, so you want to check for save for web make sure your version of Photoshop has that like I said most do now but there has been some years ago that did not um, okay so we're looking at this I took this with my camera and um, imported it in USB into Photoshop file uh, import and there it is looking at the camera right there it brings it in I'm not going to do that because it's already in here so here's the picture the first thing you want to do is get a good view of it you come up over here to this top box it's at 67 percent you can just grab that fader and go back and forth and kind of get it to where you want it like that's too blurred right there but I kind of back up like that it's not a great picture to start with uh, but it, it'll work for our purpose here. So for, then you come right over here and this in the up left hand corner rectangular marquee tool. You highlight that. You come over here and just click left mouse down. Click left mouse down and pull it over like that and let go and then you get these little moving dash lines and then you can crop it just there's other ways to do it but just go to image crop okay here we are and it's at 67 percent right now so let's kick it up there's 100 percent now at this you can tell it's too blurred for jewelry but for our purpose here today to just show you how to crop and get the uh, part of the picture you want up on eBay this will work fine and as you can see we still got a lot of blue so what I would do I'd make sure this is checked your rectangular uh, marquee tool come back over here and go let's just do this and now we got it like that and something I want to tell you if, if you uh, happen to mess up uh, just go control D on a um, PC I'm not sure what a Mac is and that's control D select and it's gone like say if you go like this and you and that's not what you want, just control D and it's back. There's other ways to get back, but that's all we need to know right now. So um, I'll do this again. There we go. And then I'll do crop, go up to image, crop. Now it's smaller. And we'll check the image size 305. No, that might work, but let's go back up to 400. And, and then you can really see what you got. Um, again, for, it's just too blurred out, so we'll, just so you'll know how to do it, we'll go to 300. That will work. It's just so you'd want all your pictures at 300. So you'll just figure it out. You'll see what works for, best for you. And then we're still in our PSD file. That's a Photoshop file. So now we're going to change it for the web. So we go save for web. And if you look right here, it says 5 seconds at 28.8 kilobytes. That's not bad. It's about what you want because uh, if you start getting up to you know, 10, 15 seconds per picture, people aren't going to wait around. Now I'm coming up here right now. We're going to change the quality to high. And now we're at 12 seconds. That's how long it would take it to download at a slow dial-up speed, but 
Like I said, some people are still there. So we'll go with medium. Seven seconds at 28.8 kilobytes. So then you just save, and we're just going to overwrite this one right here. Or you can name it anything you want. Replace. And there's our picture ready to be put on eBay. And in a further um, video, I will show you how to do that. If, uh, but also, if you use like an eBay auction, they make it uh, very clear on how to insert an image into your auction. But we will be covering that. So I hope you enjoyed this today. It's a quick fly through on how to get your your pictures up on eBay or your website or whatever. Uh, this is Gary with InfoNut and thank you for tuning in.